Hello everyone, this is Multi24 Gaming with some very big pine cones. That wasn't supposed to happen. Hold on one second. Um, <clears throat> oh, pine cones. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, today we will be playing Extreme Landings Pro, and as it is Christmas Eve, at least the time of the recording, um, we are going to be doing something a little special, of course, since it's Christmas Eve. Um, we're doing a Christmas special. Basically, a lot of people um, have been asking about the end of the map. Now, I have made a video on the end of the map, but in fact, that was not the real end of the map. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make an attempt to the go visit the North Pole in the Concord. We're actually gonna give it a go. We're gonna see if we can do it. I've heard that you can go there, and I have actually attempted it in some of my live streams. Some of you might know about it. Um, I came across something pretty dang cool, and I'm sure a lot of you have already been there, but I think it's awesome, and we're gonna go on a little adventure um, to what may or may not be the end of the map. Also, North Pole is, of course, where Santa's based, and as you can see, we've got him up in the in the top corner here with us, um, and, his, and his reindeer, so I got that, and then this little holly thing. I did the same sort of thing for Halloween, um, had a bat and a spider web, but regardless, we have our plane. Um, as you can see, I'll quickly um exit out so you can see exactly where i'm going from i'm going from the very north of um, norway um <clears throat> and tromso i know i'm not pronouncing that right because i'm american full hundred one hundred percent red-blooded american can't pronounce any other thing here except for stuttgart okay regardless um up here we're going from the furthest north airport that I can possibly take off from in the Concord, the fastest plane. We're gonna just head straight for the North Pole. We're gonna see if we can find anything. Maybe we'll come across Santa, who knows what Rortus might have up there sleeves for us. We're going to hit takeoff. Oh wait, yeah, well, basically this is as um, dark as it gets in the North Pole at this current, at this time of year. Um, or not this time of year, the other way around really. It, the game thinks we're in the summer, so right now it doesn't get dark. Technically, it wouldn't get light at this time of year, but that's okay. We're gonna pretend that's not the case. Uh, we got overcast, fog, wind, some nice stuff, and then of course we'll we'll change that once we get to our to our destination. Um, as you can see, we have the aircraft, which is the as they call it the R-145S. It's basically the Concorde, a combination between the Soviet supersonic plane as well. There's some some similarities, but in all, it's most like the Concorde. Um, and we are going to take off. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot. Set up. I got. I consider my viewers my passengers, so we're gonna add some, add some passengers in there, right there. So you guys are now along with me for the ride. We're gonna get this thing off the ground. So here we have our cockpit, and um, let's see here. It's been a long time since I've flown this plane, guys. So my keyboard shortcuts may be a little rusty. Okay. So um. Okay, this, so the starters are on. Gonna get a nice good view of these things while we start them up. And I believe it's this button. Nope, this one. That's one. That's two. That's three. And that's four. Alright, so now we have our engines up and running. Planes all set and ready to go. We're gonna do um, a rudder test. No, that didn't work. Come on. Okay, so the rear rudder's working just fine. We are going to do a f flap test. Very nice. Good to see that that's working. And we are going to hit the throttle. So, in here we are. <clears throat> and full speed ahead. We're going to take off. And it's going to be great. Alright, so we're already at 100 knots. This thing takes off so quickly, it's insane. Things just begging to get off the ground as it always is. Alright, up we go. Good deal. We are off the ground and on our way to the North Pole. Alright, so let's get autopilot all set up. We're already headed pretty much north, but we're gonna set this thing to zero degrees. Zero degrees, right there. Oh, there we go, zero degrees. 
And uh, we are going to max out the speed. To 1,200 knots. We're going to bring our altitude up to 5,000. We're going to stay pretty low so we, we can detect like when the bottom of the map is coming. Um, and we're going to go back to the basic fly. We're coming up pretty high now. Um, I guess we can put the nose up. No need to have that now. Um, and we are going... Oh, there we go. We just hit the speed of sound. The speed of sound. <laughs> We just hit the speed of sound. Okay. Let's see here. Still increasing in speed, and we're about to go up into the clouds a little bit. Actually, we might not actually reach them, since we're only going to 5,000. Um, and we're not going to follow any FAA regulations. We're actually going way off any uh, reasonable um, flight flight path, for especially for Concorde. But like I said... We're just going to head straight for the end of this map and see what happens. See whether we come across a North Pole, or see if we perhaps come across that same end of the map area that I saw about a year ago when I made a video of it for you guys. So, we're hitting time. Time's speeding up, and we're watching our plane down here very carefully. Um, so we can hit time, just in case anything happens. Now, see, we're already past, like, the border, and it's glitched, and now it's letting me look further. And, um, it's just gonna keep going. And I honestly have no idea how long it's gonna go for. Like, this area down here is already looking kind of weird. Because we're technically in an area that should only be ocean by the map. The map only shows ocean. Um, but obviously that's not the case down here. So, um, it may mean we are approaching the North Pole. <laughs> in our Concord. Come on, Blaine. So we've got it maxed out at about 10,000, or uh, not 10,000, 1,032 knots, which is a pretty good speed. The, the uh, autopilot always allows you to go higher than it actually can go, and the plane could, whoa, technically go that high if, um, if we were going straight down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I've gotten some of the, some of the propeller planes to go over a thousand knots that way. Um, you know, with tailwind and everything. So, every time it glitches down here, it's reloading chunks. So as you can see, I can't go any further. Like, that's as far as I can go, but it's gonna... There we go, we loaded. Right? And now, here's the plane. I have to hit time again. Whoa, wait! Oh, shoot, we're here! Okay. Wait, autopilot. Gotta turn all the autopilot off. Okay. So we are at part of what may be the end of the map. Let's take a look. Okay, this is really weird. This is different from the last time I was here. Whoa. Okay, so this stuff is carried over. As you can see by our uh, altitude, we are currently negative um, 1,000 feet. Um, <laughs> here we have what I once upon a time believed to be the end of the map. I legitimately thought this was the end of the map, and it turns out that is not the case. That could not be further from the truth. It's yelling at me for proximity, and it's going to, because like I said, we are currently way below, way below what we should be. So, basically, last time I was here, this was just water down here, and this right here was just like like, uh, I don't even remember. It, it was like brown land, basically. And now it's... Have you ever, If you've ever seen Narnia, or read the books Narnia, that's what it reminds me of. Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> Woo! There we go. Speed of sound. That was cool. <clears throat> and there's the moon. We're gonna clear this place up a bit. You guys can see as much as you can. I'm gonna move the time back to... it's supposed to be. There's some weird glitching going on out there. It's, it's kind of scary. And I'm gonna set my course for this right here. And we're gonna fly alongside this for a bit. <clears throat> we're gonna see... Let's see. We're gonna hit... We're gonna keep our altitude constant. At a thousand. Okay, a thousand's the best we can do there. 
Um, and I'm just gonna hit time and see if we come across anything interesting as we go down this way. We might not. It might just be... Just the same stretch of border. Yeah, that's what it appears to be, guys. This is really strange. It just goes on and on and on. Whoa, wait, wait, whoa, 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 what's this? What's this? What? Is this a corner? Are we at a corner? Oh my goodness, guys. We found a corner of the world. What? What was that? Question is, I'm really curious if there's anything further that way. There may be. There may indeed be. Okay, well, let's see which direction we're flying in now. I'm gonna go to one. Now we're flying down again. This is bizarre. We're almost going 180 degrees straight back. What? This is like the weirdest thing in the world. All right, well, I'm gonna keep going. This little adventure isn't stopping here, guys. Yep, and it looks like it's just gonna go on and on like this. Wow. Very cool, very cool. Like, right up there, it just stops, and then it's gonna load up, I think. Yep, boom, there it goes. Whoa! A another one. This time it's a different sort of corner. What in the world? This is the weirdest thing in the weirdest thing ever so strange but so freaking cool <laughs> let me see if I can get a, a good shot of a boom that was cool all right well I guess we've we've discovered some pretty cool things some strange formations, but I think we're gonna head straight for the sun. Because that, well, that doesn't actually make sense. The sun wouldn't be directly north. Well, in this case, it appears it is. We're gonna max out the throttle and head straight north once again. See, it's glitching between 360 degrees and zero. So. I guess we can say goodbye to that thing. Alright, goodbye Cliff. We should call it something. The Edge. I'm just gonna call it The Edge. But now there's more. There's more to go see. So we are still in the North Pole, guys. We should probably turn for the sake of it. Do we have anti-ice? Let's turn on some anti-ice. <laughs> um, woo! What in the world was that? Oh boy. This is an adventure, oh my goodness, okay. Literally going into the unknown. Is this another edge? Either that or... Yeah, it is, it's just loading up. Oh boy, okay. So, we're passing the checkpoint, and once we glitch out of the last area with that last checkpoint, I think we might come across the North Pole. It's been so long since I've, att I've attempted it that it might not even be there anymore. Or it might just come smoothly, but, uh, I'm not sure. Alright, so, here we go. Whoa! What's that? Okay! Oh, dang, they've changed it. Oh, this is the North Pole. Oh, my gosh. We're here, guys. What in the world? What? Okay, we're stopping. We're stopping. Stopping. Autopilot. What is going on here? Okay. Full speed. Stop. What is this? Whoa. The North Pole is floating. What? Oh, shoot. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. 
so rendering. We're gonna stay up. We're not gonna. The North Pole is kind of screwing with us today. We shouldn't in like the North Pole area of the Bermuda Triangle. It sucks up planes. Okay. So, uh, what does the compass say? Well, the compass is all messed up. At least we know which way's up and which way's down, but we're just gonna fly away. Whoa! Okay, so it all depends on, like, where you're looking. Okay. So, now we're flying over an area that's properly rendered. We have arrived, guys, at the North Pole. <laughs> and it's a little messed up. It's a little bit messed up. But, uh... Oh, goodness gracious. This is crazy. So, let's look at the map, then. See where we are in the North... Okay, we gotta go to the center of the North Pole. That's, like, a must. And then we're gonna see if we can come across on the other side of it. Or, if that takes too long, I'll make a whole video on that. Can we cross to the other side of the Earth? Okay. Because that would be... I mean, honestly, it would take a long time. Alright. Full speed ahead. Maybe we'll come across Santa, too. But, I mean, honestly, if Santa's going to be anywhere, he's going to be right in the very center. It's a long ways to go, though. Whoa! Lost rendering. We gotta make sure we don't go too fast for this. This place is a little screwy. It's a little messed up. I think we can all sort of see that. And the North Pole is apparently very, very big. Look, our plane isn't even within sight. Wow. It would take a long time to fly across. I think, since we've succeeded in finding the North Pole, I'll make a separate video on actually attempting to cross. That will be a long video. Um, one, at least a long recording. I'll definitely edit it down for you guys, but... Right now, let's see what the other windows say. This one's just like, nope. That's it for me. I'm sorry, I have no idea where your airport is. Engines are fine, fuel's fine. Actually, yeah. Now it feels fine. I guess the only thing to try now is to land in the North Pole. Um, I mean, I guess, right? That's, that's all that's left to do? Just land? You sure? Alright, we're a little sort of peeking out here now. Landing friendly. Which means there will be a copy of it somewhere else because this is just copied and pasted terrain, I'm sure. Just like in Rio de Janeiro. Whoa! Speed of sound. There's no reason to suggest that I could actually land this without, like, the plane crashing. Um, because, as we know, the only place you can land really anywhere in Extreme Landings is on a runway. And there is, uh, most certainly not a runway here. If there is a runway anywhere here, by all means, let me know. But I'm pretty dang sure that, uh, there isn't. So now we're just gonna look for, uh... Area, I'm gonna mess around with the clock a little bit. See what happens. Sun just bounces from side to side. Ooh, that's bright, that's bright, that's bright, that's bright, that's bright. Make it night again, make it night again. Or, not so bright. Okay. Oh, that spot's looking pretty flat. Might be doable. But not from the angle I'm coming at. 1,000. 
Okay. Five hundred. Four hundred. Approaching minimum. Uh, I'm gonna turn around again real quick. this one more time five hundred four hundred approaching <laughs> minimum <laughs> uh, well apparently the gear goes straight through and doesn't even touch there wasn't even an explosion Maybe uh, we're up so high, um, there's there's no oxygen at all up here, so it's impossible um, for an explosion to happen. Yeah, that's probably why. Anyway, that was an absolutely amazing adventure that we just pulled off. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. And since that was um, a really not spectacular crash, I'm going to make up make that up for you guys right now by um, by doing a truly spectacular crash. Um, now, I'm definitely known for my ability to make crazy, uh, obnoxious crashes, but this one's going to be rather simple. Um, it's going to be a simple uh, version of flying straight up in the air, like so. Um, blowing all the engines up, like so. And letting the plane 1, crash. <laughs> and there's the explosion we were all waiting for. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, this Hall or um, this Christmas special. Please definitely let me know if you are interested in seeing more videos like this, more exploration videos, and what sort of things you want me to explore. Like, do you want me to make a video trying to actually cross from... Uh, because I can. I can attempt to cross from Norway to Russia. See if I can do it over the North Pole. I don't know, and I would be very interested in giving that a go. It might take a couple hours of of, uh, of recording, but I think it's worth it. That, that runway looks sort of like a ship. I'm going to call that runway the ship from now on. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.